Rumour has it that on chilly moonlit nights, a headless figure can be seen wandering the battlements of the Tower of London. This spectral figure is said to be none other than Anne Boleyn, the second wife of King Henry VIII, who lost her head on the executioner's block within these very walls. Our story begins in the distant past, in the year 1066, when William the Conqueror decided to build a mighty fortress to solidify his rule over England. This fortress, known as the White Tower, was the first structure of what we now know as the Tower of London. Over the centuries, the tower has served many purposes, royal residence, treasury, menagerie, armory, and most notoriously, a prison and execution site. Fast forward to the year 1536, when the tower witnessed one of the most dramatic events in its history. Anne Boleyn, charged with treason, adultery, and incest, was beheaded on Tower Green. Some say her ghost still haunts the tower, a headless body dressed in a silken robe, reliving her final steps to the scaffold. The tower is not only home to the ghost of Anne Boleyn. Another tragic figure said to haunt the tower is Lady Jane Grey, the Nine Days Queen. In 1554, at the tender age of 17, Lady Jane was executed for treason after a brief and tragic reign. Visitors report seeing her ghost on the anniversary of her death, standing on the battlements, gazing out across the River Thames. But it's not just the tragic queens who roam the tower grounds. In the year 1212, the White Tower was the scene of a tragic accident. Prince William, the son of Henry I, met his untimely end in a shipwreck. His ghost, along with the apparitions of his companions, is said to haunt the Wakefield Tower, their sorrowful cries echoing through the cold stone corridors. The Tower of London, a place steeped in history and bloodshed, is a chilling testament to England's turbulent past. From its foundation by William the Conqueror, through the countless lives it claimed right up to the present day, the tower has been a silent witness to the unfolding saga of English history. Its ghostly residence, the spectral reminders of tragic events, add an eerie layer to the rich tapestry of its past. To sum up, the Tower of London is not just a historic fortress, but a haunting echo of the past. From the ghost of Anne Boleyn, endlessly replaying her final moments to the tragic spectre of Lady Jane Grey. The tower is a place where the past refuses to rest. And let's not forget the ghostly cries of Prince William and his companions, forever trapped within the Wakefield Tower. These chilling tales, along with the tower's dramatic history, make it a place of fascination and fear, where the past is always present. Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. Your interest in the chilling tales of the Tower of London is what keeps this channel alive. If you enjoy the content, consider hitting that subscribe button, turning on the notification bell and giving this video a thumbs up. Your support allows us to continue delving into the dark corners of history, bringing you stories of fascination and fear. It really helps the channel grow and I'd love to have you as part of our awesome community. Together we can continue to explore the past where it refuses to rest. Now, let's dive back into the video. Your support means a lot.